My next speaker, uh, I mentioned I wanted to marry Jed, but actually if I was a polygamist and gay, I would marry Craig Strong and Jed. And I think we'd live a long, happy life together. Buddy's in the hot tub. Uh, <laughs> Craig has been one of my best friends for many, many years since he came to my, one of my very first boot camps uh, almost close to 10 years ago, it's coming up on. But he's been a, he's actually the inventor of the lens baby, but a lot of people don't know that he was actually a fantastic wedding photojournalist. He started a newspaper, went into wedding photojournalism, and I always thought if I was gonna get married again, uh, I haven't told my wife this yet, but we're gonna hire Craig Strong to shoot our wedding because I loved his style. So then he invented the lens baby about six years ago, and we all know the story of that international success. Uh, Craig's taught me a lot of things, but one thing he's gonna share with us today is finding frustrations in odd places. So, welcome to the stage, Mr. Craig Strong. Uh-oh, there goes my notes. Um, okay, you can start those slides. These slides are um, going to represent kind of a progression in my work, and my work has been affected by um, several frustrations. So, in, instead of talking about a how to profit from your frustrations, I'm gonna talk about three frustrations in my work, because, you know, once I set the, uh, the title for my, my uh, presentation here, I got a little frustrated, so, and that's par for the course. Um, it, it's an opportunity for me, um, and, and those frustrations have, have given me, uh, really shaped my work. The first frustration I want to talk about is my frustration in being in newspapers and not seeing moments. It's kind of important when you're working for a newspaper that you see the moments that are happening around you. I, I was looking at the National Press Photographers Association's uh, monthly clip contest, and I was seeing these amazing once-in-a-lifetime moments in there, and I didn't even see them. I would go to the same assignments that these photographers for weekly and, and daily papers were going to and, and seeing nothing. Um, the moments were happening around me, and, and they were just passing me by. That frustration, that obsession with how do I get these Im images that I'm seeing other photographers do in very similar situations, um, really helped me, guided me to find those once-in-a-lifetime moments that were happening around me and being ready for them, anticipating, like Scott Bourne said, pre-visualize, say, okay, if I'm in this situation, what am I going to do? And I'm, I'm going to run after the dog and I'm going to shoot him. I'm not going to get him off that sidewalk. Um, but those moments started, started to be visible to me. It wasn't that they were, weren't happening before around me, although this hadn't happened multiple times. Um, but they were happening, and I started to see them, and that frustration was what really caused me to hone in on the things that I cared about in my career, and one of the things I cared about and became good at was capturing moments. The second frustration that I want to talk about for me was um, capturing great portraits. Um, I, in fact, not only didn't I like portraits, but portraits scared me a lot. And so for me, when I went freelance in 1993 from newspapers, I started um, wanting to get a few clients, and a lot of clients wanted portraits. Uh, magazine clients wanted portraits, wedding clients wanted portraits. So I, d I decided that this, since this wasn't something I was very comfortable with, largely because I'd made a vow to myself when I was called on the carpet for an image that I, I set up at a newspaper, I made a vow to myself never to set up another photograph, was that I was going to market myself to people who also hated portraits. The, the, uh, what this allowed me to do was really, I took this frustration in my career and instead of going towards it, it, it directed me towards something, an area, a much larger area in my uh, abilities that I was able to focus on and that was photographing moments that I had been previously frustrated that I couldn't do and wanted to do. Um, the, the ability for me, uh, the third frustration I want to talk about um, <laughs> is artistic vision. My artistic vision was being invisible. Um, I had gotten very good at my, my subjects not knowing I was there and my viewers not having any indication that I was, I was there in that image. Um, and capturing or having any impact on that image. Um, and friends of mine were taking pictures with plastic cameras and making unbelievable images. And so what I, what I did is I started trying new things. I had a teacher in high school who shared a quote with us, and she said, anything worth doing well is worth doing poorly for a short while. 
Um, that's all about frustration. It's, it's finding something that, that you, have, you want to do, that you care about, and moving towards that. And what that's done is it's allowed me to put different techniques, different things into my camera bag and into my techniques that have allowed me to match my subject matter with the vision that I see in my heart and in my mind. Um, so to, re to recap here, the, the things in my career that have really uh, been milestones largely are around frustrations. The first one for me that I'm talking, I talked about was the inability to capture moments. Seeing those moments came and frustration was a guide into that. The second was being scared and frightened of, of portraits. It wasn't something I was good at and so I used that as a way to focus on the things that I was good at. And the third was artistic vision which was a foreign concept. I didn't even know what it meant. Um, and I was able to move into that and frustration was really a door allowed me to move into something that I'd never done before and really embrace it and find, find new things to put into my repertoire. Thank you very much.